Hey everyone, as part of the update to the chain auth solution, I wanted to go ahead and create this mini series going through each of the different components so that you can successfully set up your chain auth SDK with your Unity project in a very easy to do manner. And this is gonna be part one, going through the login authentication to your Unity project. If you have any questions, definitely leave those down in the comments below. And you can also head over to the Discord to ask anything more specifically, such as getting an application ID, or you can check out the documentation page, which will also be linked down in the description. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into how you can get this whole project set up really quickly and really easily. Starting with the GitHub repo for this project, it's gonna be available at Chainoff Unity SDK. And to import it, it is a Unity package. So the easiest way is to copy this HTTPS link, head over to Unity, go to the package manager, and then click add package from Git URL, which will go ahead and start that import process. Give that a couple seconds and within just like that, you should see the chain off SDK, which is really just one script that is now imported into your project. Once the chain off package is in, we can go ahead and let's just create a script here for off, double click, open that up. And here we're just gonna be showing you the bare bones to actually get this set up. So we don't need update, we're just gonna run everything off of start. And specifically to get started, you'll need the FuseVR crypto namespace in your specific script. And it's really as simple as chain off manager, register. You'll see from this uh, description that, that pops up from Visual Studios, you'll need a unique ID and an application ID for your player. So that's fairly straightforward to do. So for the application ID, you'll get that from eventually what will be a dashboard, but for the time being, you can ask for that over on Discord and you'll get that from me and you'll go ahead and pop in an application ID right here. Your unique ID really can be anything unique to the player. And it could be something like a email and we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video. Or it could just be a generic like one, two, three, whatever you feel uh, is unique to your client. It, this literally that unique ID could be anything, but if you want, you can just use it for the specific device, which is done through the system info. So if I go ahead, copy and paste that string in here, we will now get a, a unique identifier for our device that's getting registered to the chain auth system and you'll pass in your application ID. As a result, we'll go ahead and get a chain auth manager instance, or you can call it manager, whatever you like, that is done through this await. Now, everything within the chain auth manager is done asynchronously. So we'll have to do add async here and we'll need to await for the register function to ping our server and then from, from the server, get the updated chain off manager instance. Once you have that instance, we can then get an instance code. So let's go through here and it's called the register code. I'm gonna go ahead and log that for now, just since we don't have a UI set up, but if you did have a UI set up, this is the code that you wanna give to the player, which will allow them to go ahead and authenticate, which we'll show in the next step. Lastly, We'll need to go ahead and wait for the player to actually do the authentication, which is really easy with an instance dot await login. There's nothing that needs to be passed here. And again, just like your register function, you'll need to await for that login using the await keyword, at which point we can do a uh, successful log that we've successfully logged in. And this is the bare bones setup that you actually need to go ahead and start authenticating. So let's head back into Unity and all we need to do is create an empty game object and we'll go ahead and apply our auth script on top of this. I'll save it and then I'm going to input an application ID to be just because that's specific to whatever you're using and we'll go ahead and run this and we'll show the authentication process. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, which is going to trigger our auth script to activate here. And from a practical point of view, we should be able to input that code into link.fusevr.com. 
And you'll see here we have a code that was given to us through the registration. I'll also show that this also works on any device. So I'll, I'll do this on my phone specifically. So I'm going to go to link.fusevr.com and our code is All right, so I'm gonna click authenticate in here, which is going to ask me whether or not I want to do all the transactions on my own self-custodial wallet. So I have MetaMask installed on here. It's gonna go ahead and pop that up thanks to the Wallet Connect uh, integrations on that site that are gonna pass that along. You'll see here that I've already gone ahead and connected to MetaMask, otherwise it'll ask you to connect. And if you've done so, it'll go ahead and ask you to sign. So this is, if we if we show that up closer to the screen here, it's going in and sending me a random message that I have to sign to prove my ownership of the assets that I claim to hold. Once I've signed, you can actually see automatically on Unity, I get the success message. So that happens through the backend system, connects and makes all of that happen. In the next video, I'll go ahead and show how you can do a very similar process just using an email. So without having to uh, send your user to a the, the website and put the code, we can automate a little bit of this process through just shooting over the user uh, an email address. We'll, we'll quickly go over that in the next video amongst all of the other things that we're gonna be covering in this series. So look forward to that.